Today I'm going to kind of go through the process of filling a snowmobile with antifreeze. I want to make sure you do it right so you don't get air pockets in there and end up having your engine overheat. So, we'll come over here. Here's my artistic abilities that aren't so great. My snowmobile here. In an Articat, we'll start with Articat. Yes, the little monster that needs to go away. Hey, you! And how an Articat is, you have a cooler right here. This is just in front of your track. And you have a cooler right here, which is right behind your track. And the deal is, this cooler here is higher than this, and it's like at the even height with the top of where you would fill on your engine. And the deal is, there's hoses that run underneath your seat that come all the way back here to this cooler. You will come to a point when filling it, if you just fill it flat, filling it in where the engine is, where your radiator cap is. If you fill it, there comes a point when air can't get out of here, air just gets trapped. And then you get air pockets in your system. So, the way to prevent this is, you take the snowmobile, you take like a chain hoist, and you lift the front end up so it's sitting like that, basically. Then you take, what I like to do is when you have it up in the air like that, I like to take this hose right here off, and then take your bottom hose off right here on Articats, and I take this hose and I stick it up in the air so that the top of that hose is even with the top of this hose when I have it off. And when this is way up here, sitting up here, the front end of that, I take and I take a funnel and I fill this hose with antifreeze till that hose gets up full and it'll come up to the top in that hose at the same time. And you fill this nice and slow so all the air can come out of there nice and easy. And these will get filled to the same point. Then I take, stick that hose on there. This one you're going to drip a bit. You might want to have a container you kind of tip and dump a little bit out. And get it back on there. And then as you slowly lower the snowmobile, lower it some, start filling the engine. Because you don't want air to go back inside that hose. You want to keep that full. So you add coolant, lower it a bit, add more coolant. Until eventually you have it all the way down and then you just top off the system and fill your overflow tank. I'll show you what Yamahas and Polarises are like though. Yamaha actually came up with a way to solve this problem. Yamaha's coolers run the length underneath here, up inside the tunnel, above your track. Not like Polaris. Polaris, they're underneath where your feet sit. Yamaha, they run underneath here at an angle that's slanted, of course. And actually, if you take your seat off on a Yamaha, there's bleeders underneath here that you can open up that'll let that air out so you don't get air trapped in there. So you can actually fill your Yamaha without lifting it like I said. You can get the air out by opening up them bleeders, and then you close them once that's full of antifreeze. Polaris is, you have coolers that run about this long underneath where your feet sit. What you want to do with them is basically the same with an Articat. If you got that whole system drained, you want to take and lift it up again so that your engine is guaranteed to be the highest point and there's not some other point in here that can trap the air. Like these coolers in a Polaris running like this, it's going to want to trap air here, right in the back of that cooler because that end of the cooler is higher and the actual inlet to the cooler is down here so that air is just going to get trapped up there. So I think that's about all there is to working with that. Show you something else on Articats. Right down here you have a, this is actually you can drain your engine and it drains a good amount of the coolant out of there so you can like take your engine out without making a mess everywhere. Just kind of unscrew that. It's just like a bleeder on like brakes on your vehicle. It's just like a bleeder valve. You crack it open far enough and it comes out and you can tighten it back in to stop it. All that good stuff. And I think that's about all. 
See, what I actually did with this coolant system here is I took this off and I drained it all out and I flushed it with a water hose because the guy before me replaced this engine, but the engine before that, it had gotten the whole coolant system full of oil and he never flushed it, so my antifreeze was full of oil. That yucky stuff. That's what antifreeze is supposed to look like. That's the yucky stuff. So, just took this outside and after I had the antifreeze out, stuck the water hose in there and flushed the whole system. It'd come out that hose and I'd stick it in there to flush all the coolers. Then I flushed out the engine. So I got that good and clean. So I got to refill this with antifreeze here now.